Hey everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Georgios here today, and it's Wednesday, new comic book day, oh yeah, but of course there's still no new comics, <laughs> unfortunately, but, but, I have uh, pulled a few strings and talked to a few indie creators, and look, I finally got one of the packages today, it took probably two weeks, but uh, this came from the States, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, if I believe, uh, sorry I have the a backer board here. I'm just hiding the addresses because they're on both sides, so I don't want people uh, uh, looking at the addresses. But uh, yes, uh, we have the indie creators that are pulling through here, and uh, these are books that I will be uh, proud to put on the comic book shelves once the store opens, which is going to be uh, May 18th in Montreal. Hopefully that that'll stick. It was supposed to be May 11th, but now it's May 18th. So, anyways, we're going to be looking at this package right here. I'm going to try to open it up with my exacto knife here i'll go gently it is slightly open already actually i'm gonna tear it up here there you go just hiding the address here oh oh yeah let's see you know what i can pass the knife right here let's unbox this baby Whoop. there you go i don't want to rip through anything else but i just feel no, that's just envelope. There's nothing else. There's a cardboard. Good, good. Alrighty. A nice, uh, wow, nice thick uh, envelope here. Jeez. <laughs> Alright, let's pull this bad boy out. Come on. Ugh. Oh, it's not coming out. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to pull the bag. I think the cardboards are staying still, but the bag is coming out. Yep, there it is. Oh. Yeah, boy. And it's out. I'm just going to pull the envelope away. And looking in the envelope. Nope, see, uh, the cardboard just staying put. There you go. All right. It's boarded. It's bagged. <laughs> Literally bagged. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Come on. coming everyone's excited what's the books George what is the books oh yeah whoa cool oh it's a bunch of different covers here hold on and I'll put a little bit of background music here this is from their YouTube channel which I'll post a link in the description all right Heronberg comics number one I'm gonna pull the bags out. Nice. Okay, we got two here of the regular. Oh no, they're all the same cover. I thought they were different covers. <laughs> Funny. Nice, okay, it's all the same. The back is uh Jeniaya the Arabic Superwoman. Cool. Alrighty, so here are the books. I ordered, yeah, th oh, that's right, yes, I ordered five copies. Um, they gave me a deal, and uh, so I got five copies for the comic book shop. Uh, I'm going to talk to them and see if I could put one on eBay just to, uh, because the shop is still closed, but uh, if not, everything will go on the shelves, and I'm keeping one copy, obviously. So here it is, folks. We're just going to open it and flip through it. Let's check it out. Whoa. All right, so here are the character lists from Heronberg. The Heronberg takes place in a universe where a southwestern Pennsylvania metropolis is renowned for more than just pirates, penguins, and pierogies. I love pierogies, by the way. It's the global epicenter of superheroes. One fateful night, a meter from space imbued with immense dark energy explodes above Pittsburgh, irradiating the unsuspecting populace and causing unusual epigenetic mutations on the double X chromosomes of a select Pittsburgh women, who begin to develop astounding superhuman powers. Some use their new abilities for the benefit of the community, and some exploit them for selfish gain. So the virtuous champions eventually form an alliance, the Pittsburgh Heroin League, endorsed by 
the city's law enforcement. Meanwhile, the villainesses are hired by a mysterious cabal called the Black Faction, sworn to discredit the League members and reduce them to vigilantes. With dozens of superpowered females in its city lim limits, what was once as the Steel City now gains a new worldwide title as Heroinburg. All right. So here we go. This issue's bombastic cast of heroines. We got Arcana, Artica, Cybrina. Let's go down here. Etheria, Lunessa, Spectrina, Ex Machina, Dysphoria, Mesmera, Serpenta, and Vaporia. All right, and see the creator here, Manny Th uh, Thiner. Sorry, Manny Thiner, creator, writer, and editor. Our artist here is Benjamin Zeus Barnett, artist and letterer. Sorry, Jason Wright, front cover and character art. Oh yes, uh, it's been brought to my attention uh, uh, that Jason Wright uh, also worked with Ethan Van Skyver on uh, Green Lantern books, uh, and uh, I missed that. Well, actually, I saw the Wright on the cover. I didn't know it was that Jason Wright, so it's cool. Uh, he did some amazing covers with uh, Ethan uh, a few years back on Green Lantern and. Uh, that's our Hal Jordan the Green Lantern course. So uh we've got Marcel Walker back cover pin up. So here we go. Let's take a look at that cover again. Go very nice. So let's go through the book here. Oh yeah. Oh very nice. Well, I'm enjoying the artwork, at least. For that, I mean, I haven't read the story. Obviously, I just don't open the uh, the package, but I will read it, do a review. So, just so you guys at home can see the interiors. Oh, oh I need two hands for this. <laughs> nice uh, paper too. It's like a thick, almost like cardstock. Uh, very thick, not newsprint style for those of you who know that. Okay. I like that the fact that there's like a lot to read too. I mean, a lot of comics nowadays, the story feels so short. Here, there's like a lot of uh, reading to do. It won't take you like five minutes to read this. You'll, you'll actually spend maybe a good 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes reading the comic. So that that's nice, you know. I remember reading X-Men number one by Chris Claremont and uh, Jim Lee. It took me like 40 minutes to read that whole thing. And Chris Claremont writes. Oh my God, does he ever write? <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to go to the other pages because we're near the end. I don't want to show you off the whole thing. But this is Aaron Berg. I will have a link to the YouTube channel that you can follow. Um, they do actual uh, live action uh Live action uh, videos of these characters. It's really cool. Um, so you can follow them there. And if you go to Heroinberg, right here, heroinberg.com, the link will be in the description. But if you go to the website, all the information is there. You can purchase these books right there. And uh, they have the uh, videos you can purchase, the, the live, live action. There's a uh, little previews uh, on uh, YouTube. Um, uh, but I mean, without the special effects, obviously. But uh, you can see a little bit of what it is, get a taste, and then uh, check it out. And uh, So if you want, I'll have the comics for sale. I'll see if I can put one on eBay. I'll just contact them to, to thank them for the uh, the books. But I'll see if I can put one on eBay for you guys, for those who just want to, to get the books delivered. Or um, once the comic book store, Studio 9 Bond Disney Comic Shop, will uh, reopen, uh, we'll have these definitely on the shelves. I'm going to show these to Mark, and I'm sure he's going to be happy to see them. So, uh, guys, Heroin Bird Comics for today for New Comic Book Day. Yes. So, right in time. So, the, uh, support our indie creators. These guys are from the United States, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, heroinberg, right here, dot com. Check it out. And, guys, stay tuned. I'll have a few more videos up, uh, hopefully today. If not, I'll do it tomorrow. Um, so, go to the description. You'll see the links to the YouTube channel and their uh, website. Okay, guys, take care, supporting new creators. Happy new comic book day. Bye.